Oh, I come in here on a tear. You did what? I come in here on a tear. Well, how long was you up there at the Morse? I was up there a week. A week? And y'all whacked and stacked them? Pretty much. Pretty much. It was nice. Well, good. If you haven't looked or seen, ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, we got Miss Paula. <laughs> the Mr. Goblin's better half. Come on, here. Hey, here. Come you got to stay by that microphone, son. You've been gone a week. You you honeymoon here in a little bit, all right? But, dang, Paul, I wish I'd known you was gone for a week. I'd let you come over to my house. I told you I'd have come over there and babysit. I've been oh, begging you. I know. It's it's time now. She's she's getting a little more relaxed with all that. So She looks like she's got it under control. She's doing pretty good. She's doing good. She's doing way better than I am. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, that, that's to be expected with twins and duck season, I reckon. But, oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. But, uh, no, Happy New Year, everybody. So, if, yeah. if you know, we haven't had a chance to wish you that yet. Happy New Year. We appreciate all the support, for sure. And we're looking forward to figuring out the keys of successful long-term marriage. Keys? Ain't that right? Oh, Lord. Because look at these two. They're uh, perfect. They're Perfect examples of No, I just tango when I look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, hey, may that, may that never stop. Uh, it ain't. It just gets better and better. That's it. Better and better. He just has to keep putting his glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to take yours off. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But how many years is it now? Uh oh! Can you tell me? No, can you tell? I don't know. <laughs> How many? Be thirty-four coming up. Yeah, thirty-four. And that's in April. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Thirty-four years. The week yeah. after her birthday, right? Or the week before? It's, no, it's, it's at the first day. Oh, and her birthday. Yeah, you and Brittany got the same birthday. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thirtieth. So I just get everything, you know. April first, and I'm straight through Mother. I don't Day. miss yeah. it. <laughs> you got all yours right yeah. there together. Uh-huh. Straight through Mother's Day, and then you good to go till Christmas. I know that's, that's pretty good feeling. When, oh man, Christmas. When's Christmas? He's like, wait a minute. That was Christmas last week. Was I last know it is. It coming up already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's last week. It was last week. <laughs> well, I just barely got by this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Galvin, you ain't right, so golly. But well, Miss Paula, how what is it like being married to Mr. John? You know, Phil asks me that every time he I know, that's me. why I wanted to ask you. <laughs> every time for twenty three or four or five years, I don't know how long you've been working there. Here how long has he been working here? About twenty four years. Before I four years. Longer than I have been. <laughs> every time Phil sees me at church, Sunday school. Every time he says, well, Miss Paul, what's tell me, yeah. what's it like waking up next to John Godwin? <laughs> hey, I, I come up with a different answer every time. I know. That's why I was curious what today's <laughs> would be. Well, I haven't woke up to, by him in a while. Oh, I need to ask season. you tomorrow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah. He's been gone. Duck hunting. You've been having to make your own coffee, ain't you? Every morning. Ain't that, that something? That's terrible. That's pitiful. It really is. <laughs> It ain't the same, is it? it? No, he what? He makes me coffee, brings it to me in bed. He said he slams, slams that cup. it on the co- <laughs> slams it on the thing, so I have to get up and go get that cup of coffee. He puts it just out of arm's reach, just out. It's, mm-hmm. it's awesome. That's terrible. one of my favorite things that he does for me. Get the day started. Building a cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh, see. Boy, that's easy. Easy. That's what happens after 34 years of marriage. He <laughs> gets see little things, just the little things. Oh, man. I do love it. That's, that's, hey, y'all, y'all have been instrumental in, in mine and Brittany's relationship. So, like, I, I, I can appreciate it because y'all been there, y'all was there at the beginning. So, yeah. that's when we were traveling around everywhere together and, like, I mean, us four drove from upstate New York to the middle of New York City during the middle of the night like a bunch of idiots. I don't. That doesn't cause a divorce. Nothing will. I guarantee you, divorce, heart attack, or anything in between. When we got to, you remember when we got there to the car rental place? Mm -hmm. You jumped out of that car because you were white knuckling all the way through New York. Yeah. You jumped out. You threw the car keys Mm -hmm. down on the pavement and said, "I'm never driving again." Oh, yeah. (laughs) 
Well, all them terrible. chase movies on that double decker bridge going through there looking so easy, they just whooping in it. No, that ain't happening. Well, we decided to do it at midnight because we we're like, yeah, we'll just hang out in Watkins Glen a little longer. Oh, that yeah. way, it won't be much traffic. Well, that, that was wrong. No, and that's in West Monroe, not yeah. New York. <laughs> yeah. And and beside that, we took on New York City in a suburban. So yeah, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Sigh, it was terrible. Uh, That was the most interesting cab rides, though. The dotted lines are just for suggestions. New York's big on on the horns. Toot their horns. That's a code. No, no. Yeah. They're really big and into horns. If there's a full flight of traffic, got this road blocked off. No, they going on the sidewalk, Jack. <laughs> Wait, I tell you, if any NASCAR owner, team owner is listening, if you need a fill-in driver for a road course, just get on one of them taxi drivers on the New York. Just spend about three days and oh, take yeah. as many taxi rides as you can. <laughs> yeah, you'll Every find one you one. Yeah. You'll find you one. That one, Brittany and I went got in. We were going to go down to. Was it Little China? Yeah, or Chinatown China or something. Town. Yeah. And we got in the cab and said, will you take us to Chinatown? And they said, he said, no, I'm not taking you to Chinatown. It's just a street. You don't need to go to Chinatown. <laughs> Why does everybody want to go to Chinatown? <laughs> and me and Brittany were like, what? Uh, yeah. He like, I'm not take you to Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just driving, and we were like, okay, can we go? There's another place you shop. Yeah. Something else. He said, why everybody want to go there? I'm not take you there. I'm not doing it. And we're like, can you just pull over and let us out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stop yeah. the car. If you ain't gonna take us where we yeah. want to go, go. Yeah. He literally pulled over and we got out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Brittany and I were like, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, I remember getting that text. I've noticed that most people are not happy. They really. It's the struggle is real. No, no, I'm serious. Yeah. Well, if you didn't sleep, you wouldn't be happy either. Mm-mm. They say it's a city that never sleeps. They are correct. <laughs> they are correct. It's stressful. Oh, uh, my! The the one thing I never will forget is like you hear all these things. You've watched all these shows about New York City, and you're like with prostitutes and everything else. Remember that first street we turned off oh, going yeah. to the car rental place? It was just I was. You think Ooh. to yourself like it ain't that bad up there, and then that first one we turned to, I was like, oh god. No, it it's it's real. Like we we got to get up out of here. Like I, because you know your Apple Maps or whatever will take you the shortest route. Well, they don't take into account what neighborhood you may or may not go yeah, through on that thing. Too, and, yeah. and me and guy, we was all looking around like, oh okay, no, hey, let's we, not have a flat tire. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now where's where's that rental car fleet? We got to go to Laguardia. How do you get there from here? Yeah. Like, didn't even say it. Ooh, yeah. Let's get we were just like, man, but that's what happened when you turn four rednecks loose up there that ain't got no business yeah. being there. Well, the yeah. thing that impressed me about New York was in that Central Park, them squirrels were so big. <laughs> <laughs> they were big. Everybody feeding them. Good <laughs> night. You, you shoot you about four of them, you set up for a family meal, I'm talking about. Oh, uh, I Good love great. it. You had to hang it like a deer to skin it. Remember that restaurant we went to that didn't have no prices on the menu? <laughs> <laughs> we knew we were in trouble there. Yeah. yeah. They, they said, if you got to ask, you're in the wrong place. We, wrong we were place. in the wrong place. <laughs> good thing we was with somebody else. Yeah, good thing somebody else picking up the bill. But I remember looking around saying, well, how much is this stuff? Ain't got no ain't no numbers out there. You just pick from a menu and go. And yeah. I guess you're okay with whatever they bring it out to you. But anyway... Mm. Well, we up against it. Let's go ahead and take our first break. We'll be back right after this. January means dealing with customer emails, returns, gift card purchases, and the inevitable increase in postage costs because us e-commerce boys, you got returns, you got fixes. It's really busy. Sometimes your people make a mistake. It it happens because you're so overloaded. But thankfully, our folks at Stamps.com make that process easy, easy, seamless, as cheap as it can possibly be. And, I mean, what else can you ask for? Right. Nothing. That's nothing. what I'm talking about. Stamps. That's all about. you can ask hey, for, that, Martin. Yeah. Look. That's we, it. 
And with Stamps.com teaming up with the post office to get huge mailing and shipping discounts up to 86% off, it's a new year no-brainer for your small business. Print your own postage right from home or office within minutes of signing up and never stress about finding the fastest and cheapest shipping solutions again. Stamps.com does it for you automatically. Stamps.com has amazing partnerships with USPS and UPS for unbeatable rates up to 86% off. They automatically tell you the cheapest rate and fastest shipping options. There's no guessing, no overpaying, no thinking required, which for people like us, the less we have to think, the better. Hey, man. That's what it is. You know, and the coolest thing, stamps.com, you never have to go to the post office again. You can do it all, write it. You can do it right here. Johnny D, you can make a label right now, and it'll be ready when you get back to the honey hole. I just did right before I came here. See, that's, right. that's what I'm talking Threw about. Threw it in the box. My good friend, the mail lady, is going to pick it up this evening. So, look, right. if, you, if you got a small business, you're trying to stay on budget, Stamps.com is a no-brainer. Start the new year by saving serious money on mailing and shipping. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. And hey, and Elvis was right. Stamp it, return to sender, baby. Look, I had so many unfortunate events last week. <laughs> well, let's hear about them. I the like The first one was, uh, what happened? Oh, I was going to take a shortcut because I wanted to look at ducks instead of looking at the hills. And... Uh, I couldn't do that because I had W.E.'s mom. She rode with me up there. So I went to Cabot, which W.E. ain't told nobody this either. He lives on a golf course. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. W.E. lives on a golf course? Yeah, and that's a wanky neighborhood. <laughs> well, that's where he's killing all them mallards. <laughs> <laughs> he's hunting a golf course. I can't imagine him in a, <clears throat> in a swanky yeah. neighborhood. It's not, he's not on a hole or nothing, you know, on the fairway. He ain't on the course. But, but he's, he's up to, I mean, you can see it. So he's raising dogs. He's got his boat. He's yeah, got all He's this at thing. the end of a cul de sac. Oh, yeah. All these nice houses. And you pull up there in his nice house, and then you open the garage door, <laughs> and there's a kennel. <laughs> and there's no doubt that W.E. Phillips lives there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it's, uh, yeah, he has a, what do you call them kennels? Weapon kennels? Who? Huh? They're kind of tall, but they fill up the, there ain't no parking in the garage. It's just it's for, all for the dogs. It's, it's just for, for looking at. <laughs> it's for having dogs. Of course, yeah. Miss Monty don't want them dogs out in the cold anyway. Yeah. That's, he did outkick his coverage on yeah. that. And but then, what, so what, why Why couldn't you, oh, you couldn't take it because you had to so I had to go up. through the hills. That was, yep. So that weren't, that was kind of. But I did learn a lot of interesting stuff about Bill on the way, but that was pretty good. Well, we'll and, have uh, to have him down here one day, and you can tell us what I, you yeah. learned about him and see what he see what he remembers or recalls. A Bill. Yeah, remnants of Bill. <laughs> yeah, he, you, you saying I was the shrinking man, but boy, he, whew, he just lost it. But then we get to duck hunting, and the buy's up to 17. And Which is Brad, perfect. And Brad said, well, there's this one spot between these two cypresses. There's a deal there. You know, we got to kind of finagle around it. So we get up there, and Bill's telling him, right, go to the right. Brad said, no, I'm going straight. And he went straight and got up on that thing. And we were, the prop was out of the water. Blah, 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 you know, it was out of the water. You ever been on one of them? He hit it, and then he said, no, I'm going to go over it. And he gassed it again for a bad move. Bad move. And the yeah, current coming through it. there, and the boat's tilting, and I'm thinking, okay, my gun's in the gun box. If this boat sinks, it'll stay in that gun box. I just need to get hold of my bag and try to get to the bank somewhere. So I'm trying to think all oh, this. No, this is happening. We're shoving and pushing and trying to get off that stump and grabbing a hold to the tree. And all of a sudden, W.E. just bails. He bails out of the boat, jumps out of it. And he jumps out of it, and he's holding on to the side. <laughs> and he turns around, and he looks at me, and his eyes is as big as saucers. He said, I can't touch. Grab my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then it's like, no, 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 there's a log. I got a log. He's on walking on a log, and he's shoving and 
kicking and pissing and moaning and farting and <laughs> trying to get off her. And, boy, we he, finally got off of there. But, boy, that was, I almost died. He liked one of them bulls coming out to shoot, huh? Oh, man. I, I, I can't imagine him jumping out of anything. Oh, he no. really has lost some weight. Oh, he got them brand new mechanical knees. He's a million dollar man now. He putting them to the test. Oh, he's yeah. get his knees fixed. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so then we get to the blind. We get in the skid blind, and uh, you know how many decoys we put out? I bet six. Zero. Zero. Oh. Zero. No decoys. Vietnam bridge loop, and oh. we uh, and we. <laughs> Start hunting, and then after that, the daylight, they said, well, maybe we need to put about six out. So they going to throw the decoys from the blind out there because it's too deep to wait. So Bill throws one decoy out, perfect. Then he's going to get a little greedy, try to go a little further with it, but the string hangs up in the tree right in front of me. <laughs> so then pull the shotguns out. We're shooting the limbs out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like boom, a boom, egg. boom. He run out of shell, run his dry, and then picks up Alan and runs his dry. But he gets a decoy out, and we commence to killing ducks. Oh, and man. I ain't been there twenty four hours yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, boy, this is gonna be a trip. Oh man! So you was how nervous was you in that boat? Oh, I wasn't liking it at all because that was cold water. I, I never, I say, never I was, liked, I never liked that ride up there in that when the water's up. In I car. don't. Well, going yeah. to going to Sullivan ain't no problem. Oh, when it you is turn now. and go, when it you is turn, now. is it? Yeah. <laughs> when you go back north in that creek, oh, that thing is it, yeah it, towards brushy. Yeah, it's it's dicey up that way. It is. Uh, yeah. it, brushy has died on the vine. Did you drive your pickup truck to the boathouse? Uh -uh. I that, could have, you know. There's a new road there now. Well, I fix say that was the first thing that was fun when I went up there. Oh yeah, it was, it was in the trucks, and we just we just jump off in a water field. Yeah, jump <laughs> off in a rice field in a pickup yeah. truck yeah, and just and take off. Follow him. Yeah. yeah. I'm going, Good grief! I used to scare me to death because I'm it. I'm thinking of the mud we got here and like yeah, this ain't gonna work. Uh -uh. Yeah. But it ain't gonna happen up there. I remember when you had that old big white truck, guy. When you your goal was to get mud on the roof of it. Yeah. And that gummit, we did it every time. <laughs> every time. Every time. That was his midlife crisis. Oh yeah. <laughs> that big uh, jacked up truck. Yeah, it's the big jacked up. It was up a lot truck. of fun in it. It sure was. Yeah, we went a lot of miles in that oh, thing. That's a good go. <laughs> It's hard for short-legged people to get in and out of it, though. I had them lighters we me and you put on. <laughs> open the door and they fold up. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you had to have it. You just needed another step to get up to that. But that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Get you got you a week full of duck. Yeah. Out and there. then we get over to Jeff's, and we're gonna go scout go scout so we get way back there by the river going scout back there by the river just to make sure there wasn't nothing there and polaris just rear end goes out mm. we're there i said mm. that's what i said mm. i said now how i said he said i got a plan b got a plan b i said what is that you got a horse tied up out here somewhere? <laughs> yeah. he yeah. said matter of fact i do <laughs> <laughs> he took off walking. <laughs> he come back with somebody else's player. <laughs> that was out there. So that that worked out. <laughs> but Jeff has a lot oh. of trouble with vehicles. He does. He does. No, he really does. Cause He's he, a consumer. <laughs> <laughs> a consumer of product. Yeah. We pulled up and he said, well, you have to get in that. You know, and it was parked on the shed. You know, and I'm looking and saying, wait a minute, this is just a car with just regular street tires. Wait a minute, we'll figure out. Oh, yeah. We'll be all right. <laughs> he got some very Robertson tendencies when yeah. it comes to equipment. Yeah. Well, that car is still parked right there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He's still Two using years it. later. He still uses it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, alive. That's good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your trip. I did. I'm glad you're back here. I know your woman's glad to see. She's so happy she put on a Merry Christmas shirt. I, I guess she's ready to give you her gift. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> it's a family show now. 
It's a family show. <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> I wasn't ready to give it up. I oh, there you figured go. I'd wear it. Well, Christmas is a good time of yeah. year. You know, it's... you get a shirt and you wear it like twice. So that's it. I mean, yeah, I put you it don't on. wear it out. Yeah, get my money out of it. <laughs> hey, just like them Christmas lights, leave them up as long as you want to. It don't matter to me. I ain't judging nobody. Leave them rascals out there. <laughs> it's too hard to get there in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, when we built our house we have all them posts on the front like eight posts mm -hmm. white posts and the first year he he was gonna decorate them with red lights like candy canes and i'm telling you after hours because he's a perfectionist when he does something it's got to be perfect after hours and hours and hours he said We'll never do this again, ever. <laughs> you, you better enjoy them while you got them, because they're never going back on. You should have just left them up there. I should have. Oh and then God. you wouldn't have had to. I then. cut them off. He was finna cut the post <laughs> off. <laughs> cut them down. I cut did nothing string them. I cut them off. Just said to heck with it. Oh, we done right. with that. Yeah, it's over. Mm -hmm. No Christmas lights at our house. Never had them since. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It is. We got some good ones over this year. Paula put them up. What, Christmas light? Uh -huh. What'd y'all put up this year? A floodlight. I put up a floodlight that on a sign that I had made that says it looks like a candy cane pole. Well, you got to tell him about Oscar first. Well, the na we have some neighbors that are extra. They decorate everything. Yeah. And they have a skeleton that they keep up year round, and they put every kind of decoration on him for every season. <laughs> All year. A big, like, 10-foot skeleton. That's the one in Owl's old house? Yeah. Yeah, I drove out there. I saw that. <laughs> L.A. and then. Oscar. Yeah. <clears throat> so, it, they're extra. So, you can't compete with that. I, I mean. Yeah, you don't want to try some, to keep up with that. Uh-uh. So, I got a sign made that says, the Godwins, our Christmas decorations are down there. And it's pointing out. <laughs> <laughs> pointing at there. got a light on <laughs> <laughs> our driver. Yeah, this whole street's decorations are right there. Yeah. Right just, there. Yeah, there ain't no reason y'all come down this road. Uh -uh. Just stop right there at the front, look at them, and move on. It's yeah. what, that's ex really, it's in my driveway. Well, and y'all live right by the Christmas light show anyway. That's so, right there down there. Yeah, that ain't yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, that ain't no good. Yeah. I saved our money. Well, why didn't we think of a something like that? I know. That the guy Christmas makes light. some jack. Well, God, when I just heard you complaining about wrapping eight posts, I'm sure making a two-mile trek through the woods full of Christmas slice ain't for you, buddy. Oh, I'm going to hire that done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be broke. That's the business plan yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the business plan. We're out. I think you have to do it yourself to make money. He's making a killing, though. He is. Mm -hmm. Oh, he clips me for, you know, mm -hmm. anywhere from 40 time, to to $100 a year. <laughs> every time somebody comes in town. Yeah, hey, because yeah. yeah. there ain't a lot to do. You want to go look at the Christmas light? If he just leave them up all year long and change the colors, he'd probably really do something. I mm -hmm. said he needs Lover's Lane, at Valentine's, mm -hmm. you know, the Easter. Uh, Easter Bunny. Do it all. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to do it, do it all. Yeah, Peter Cottontail Lane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. July 4th. <laughs> yeah, because now that I got kids, I guarantee you Brittany Clip is for 20 every time. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a I, new holiday. Let's go look at the light. I'm telling you. They'll be asleep in no time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take them for a ride. Let them sleep. Oh. Uh, well, let's take our next break. We'll be back right after this. Look, it's no secret here in the duck call room that we all have some health stuff going on. We try and be healthy. Sometimes we gain a little weight. Sometimes we lose a little weight. But we're just all regular dudes trying to figure out this thing called life. Sal, you're a pretty regular dude, huh? I'm a regular boy. Regular dude. So, look, we're all trying to be healthier because we want to be at our best. And our friend Christian, Sadie's husband, turned us on to this drink called Athletic Greens. And I was like, what is all that? Not sure about it. But he talked me into it. I started taking it. And, man, does it make a difference every day. It's all your vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I don't even know what some of that stuff is, but it makes me feel better. And I trust people way smarter than me to tell me, hey, this is going to make you feel better. It's going to make your immune system better. So this special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy recovery, focus, and aging. So that's all the things. I'm fixed. They covered it. 
Look, and it's super easy. It's one scoop in some water every morning. Shake your bottle up, drink it, and right then and there, instead of taking all these different pills and vitamins and all this, you're just taking it right there super quick. And Athletic Greens have over 7,000 five-star reviews. Professional athletes take it if they can take it might want to check into it they're doing whatever's best for their body so you know it's going to work for you and whatever diet you're on it works for that keto paleo anything you're trying to do and it'll support better sleep quality and recovery and so right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop in a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health so to make it easy athletic greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck again that's athletic greens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance i have to tell them one time we went and looked at the christmas lights and we i don't even know we had Johanna and cecilia and we took the dogs now i don't even know why we took the dogs but anyway we took the dogs and then they went they wanted to get ice cream so we the dogs did, I, did? No, the kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs got their part, too. I'm telling you. The dogs got their part of the ice cream. Sure. So we have, these, we have these shakes, and Cal gets nervous, the rat terrier, and jumps, and his foot goes down in John's milkshake and out the bottom. <laughs> that, that milkshake's gone. He was oh, so mad. I was mad at him. <laughs> Did you turn around and go get you another went, one? Oh, he was furious. No. It was not pretty. I see, now you can't even have milkshake. I know. Yeah. That's oh, terrible. that's something else. Uh-oh. While I've been gone. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened? They had banana pudding up there. They had these cookies, some kind of cookies. I need to figure out where they come from. But I don't know why, because I can't. Leave me alone. <laughs> She just can't keep her hands off. <laughs> but, uh, we might have maybe let look, y'all leave her. This, yeah. this was a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> yeah. But it had a mound on top of it. Okay. Like a mound of. I don't know. It looked like cookie because I didn't eat one, but they said it was full of chocolate. Mm. But it looked good. That's just because you can't have any of it. So now every bit of it looks good to you. And then. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even dignify that with the first no. <laughs> He's back home. No, I know they're good. And uh, then you're duck hunting. And Jeff pulls out and starts making blueberry pancakes, waffles, eggs, which I could have the eggs, and uh, sausage and ham. I could eat that, but boy, I wanted them pancakes. Yeah, ain't even they a pancake. so good. Well, that's because you was duck hunting. I don't even eat pancakes, but if somebody's in a duck blind offer to make me some, I'm yeah. probably going to say yeah. Because they was crispy. They was crispy on the top. How does he know? Because yeah. he sat there and just I said, he, I he could looked hear at them crunching on it. <laughs> yeah, he just sitting there looking. But it was soft in the middle. Which, by the way, some friends to do that in front of you. That's I terrible. Know. Jeff going to have to go down front. They invited me to the blind before they started cooking because we was kind of split up. And then they start cooking and they I start on dessert. Let, I could have just stayed there in the blind and they could have come back and got me. You'd have never known. Mm-mm. Smelled it either. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I killed a buck up there one time, Jeff cooked me pancakes made in the shape of buck with, they had, he had a, of course, beer, maker beer with, yeah. with buck yeah. with mm. her. <laughs> John's like, yeah, that's right. Cook the waffles. Yeah, cook it up. <laughs> Just cook it up. Yeah, cook the waffles. That's terrible. And it is. It was good. Goblin, how's your, your journey still going? Good. I mean, if you weren't, if you were able to dodge all that, that that's that's significant. Well, it gets easier as you go. You know? Yeah, you forget what it tastes you like. You don't miss it no more. Oh, you don't forget what it tastes like. <laughs> You can just do without it. <laughs> just say. You don't want to. Do you dream about it? Like food? Like, do I you know, dream like, about food? Like crave it, I guess. Do you crave certain food that you can't, you're not supposed to have? No. Like rib chocolate. Ribeyes. Or... <laughs> porterhouse. Anything with a bone. 
Mm-hmm. As long as it's got a bone in it. <laughs> Talking about that, I need to buy about a three-pound porterhouse and see if I can get a good cook on it. Sounds like a winner. <laughs> yeah. When are we, y'all coming over? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Sounds like a winner to me, boy. Yeah, yeah. to invite everybody over. Not three for a three-pounder. Three. You're going to have to get more three than that. Three-pounder. Yeah. Well, I mean, that ain't... Why are you frowning? <laughs> You don't like porterhouse? I'm just trying to figure out where where this came from. Why out of the blue a porterhouse? Because we went and eat at the tamale place the other night. Oh, up there. The, the, the original one? Elijah's graduation, yeah. Yeah. That gives, that that owns, gives me hope, you know. That guy that owns those. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that W.E. can raise a kid to graduation age. College. Yeah. That, that well, means I got he graduated That was college. his College. Pick. College. Yeah, See, if college. W.E. was Elijah. in charge, a part of that. Elijah's smart anyway. Though. He is. He's very he, smart. He, yeah. he took after his mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that didn't come from Not Bill. Really yeah. Not really W.B. Really that didn't come from Bill. <laughs> but that does give me hope because he was responsible for him for a while, you know. Oh, mm-hmm. he was on him. Yeah. Bill Bill is, He's he doesn't. I may be able to do this. Bill. You can do it. <laughs> I may be able to oh, do you, this after all. You can do it. You Just sleep with one eye open. If W E yeah. can do it, Cy raised two of them. So well, I mean. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does, uh, I remember. Well, say years will be easy because they're here at the same time. You ain't got to wait a year. Well, hey, you whatever. ain't got a girl, so hey, you're, you're. Boy, ain't that the it's, truth. It's easier. Trust me. Preach. Why yeah. is it easier? Yes, it is. is I think it, it's is easier it for a guy. Yeah. yeah. Is it the worry of a girl that drives you crazy? That, that and the male. That okay. she brings home? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah. then you think, well, okay, one of these days she's going to come bring in some clown in here. I know. Yeah. Uh, and then I got to put up with him. <laughs> that was my worry. Yeah. Uh, but. As it turned out, she didn't. She got into that softball. Didn't want nobody. Well, we was real lucky. Didn't want to date nobody. Because you know, our house was, you know, the the place all the kids came. You know, so we was lucky because the her her kids her age, you know, made her normal. Because otherwise, she wouldn't have been because she was a brain. Yeah. That made her humble. Well, they 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 made her normal, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, yeah. You because know, otherwise she'd have just been in a book mm-hmm. all her life. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened with Johanna. Yeah. She grew up with two rednecks, so. Well, no, yeah. no. She well, was smart, but she, she said, "I gotta get out of here." Yeah. No, no, because Trace was way smarter than me and Christine both. I used to get tickled. Guy would say, "Say, if you really want to hurt Johanna's Johanna's feelings." Just take your library card. Yeah. Oh, like, no. Yeah. Oh, no. That was, that was Trace's punishment. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't behave, we take your books away. Yeah, us too. Oh, oh, oh uh, God, no. The Isn't world's coming to an end. Don't take my books. Boy, I wish that had been the only you trouble I got. You can take your driver's in. license, no, no. take the TV, well, I, hey, but not the books. She wasn't interested in none of that. Yeah. All you had to do is say, hey, you know, Christine would say, hey, I'll take your books away if you don't, you know. Joe Hanna nope. was the same way. Nope. Yeah. My parents don't, don't do know that. nothing about that life. <laughs> we smoked. We, <laughs> we smoked them AR points. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all was AR fact, before AR was a thing. Yeah. You? Matter of fact, when she got a driver's license. That's why everybody's always telling me, hey, no, somebody, they switch babies with y'all. <laughs> You know, in Germany, so that no, they gave the the Robinson away. Yeah. Yeah. Some, somewhere there's a little female you yeah. running around. Yeah. 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 Somewhere, somewhere there's some you know man life. I said, well, I, I understand it because that that tickled me one day. Tracy called me was when she was teaching. She said, Dad, I need you to do me a favor. And I said, what's that, baby? And she said, you need to call here tomorrow about one o'clock. You know, she said I, my kids was talking the other day when I come in and. They was talking about the show, Duck Dynasty. And when I, I told them, I said, well, that's my dad. You know, they all looked and said, you're a bald-faced liar. <laughs> you know, and I said, well, Tracer. I said, darling, I understand why. I said, look at you. Go look in the mirror. Look at yourself. I said, you're drop-dead beautiful. 
And I said, and not only that, you're very, very, very smart. You're very intellectual. And I said, hey, I can understand. And say, no, nah, you ain't that old man's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he crazy as a bad book. Yeah. You know, you got good sense, lady. <laughs> yeah. America's favorite of That was it. Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right, well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Paula, have you noticed size new custom glasses? I have. One lens yeah. in, one lens out. How about that? Look at it. <laughs> Better to see you with. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> zip, zip. What's got, happening with that, Si? No, well, Christine just said, you know, I said, what am I going to do? I said, I can see good now. She said, I'll give me your glasses. She just popped it out and said, you don't need any more. So you just need one? Yeah. Until yeah, he gets got, that one fixed. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have the other one fixed the uh, 9th of January. Okay. Yeah. About a week. Then, ain't that then I can throw these things away. But then Martin said, wait a minute, nobody will know you if you don't have any glasses. No, on. you can't not wear glasses. So you just pop I that had, other lens out. Yeah, I'll just have to get some and, and for... You know, for us, for protection, they're really. not for they're not yeah. for seeing. They're just for looking. looking at it. Just, yeah. looking. <laughs> just for looking through. They just look through. That was yeah. pretty smart of her to do that. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that night, you know, I couldn't believe it. You know, because I thought the doctor was lying when I said, "Hey, look, I, I'm worried about one thing." And the doctor said, "What's that?" And I said, "Pain." He said, "Oh, there's no pain involved." And I was thinking when he said that, I said, "You, you sitting there with your." With a straight look on your face and lying to me. They're going to cut your lens yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard him told me you, when you was telling me, do you know anything about this? And I said, no, I don't. Uh, he said, well, we're going to bust your lens in your eye. <laughs> I went, whoa, you're going to do what? He said, I'm going to bust the lens in your eye. It's, it's getting hard and it's scratched, and, you know, that's why you need them replaced. Did it you know? hurt? No. When I went home that night, I turned the TV on, yo, and yo, when like the storm's coming on, it's got, you know, the alert, and, and it's real fine print on the bottom. Before, I, I you know, I turned the TV on, and here comes the fine print, and I'm reading it. And I'm saying, that's actually got words down there. <laughs> yeah. You, know, for the you thought it time. was just a banner. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just a banner. <laughs> yo, I said, get this, I can read all that fine print down. Oh uh, my goodness! Yeah, you know, so that it, fast. Yeah, you know, no, I, that's why I, it totally amazed me where they have uh, went with the medical profession, especially for the eyes. I can't wait to see you after you get that next one done. Oh no, no, oh, I can't man, wait man, to look, hear what cake Stone. they make. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, man, Stone deer hunting. There's about thirty does and yearlings on the the road in the corridor. Yeah. You know, and I'm looking, and it's getting dark. And I said, Stone. You know, he said, oh, that's Buck. You know, so we're both looking in the binoculars. And I said, Stone. I said, what's that little light on the left side of the, the, the road? And he said, what do you mean, light? And I said, that's stupid right behind the buck you're looking at. I said, there's a stupid light. Don't you see it? And he looked, and he said, no, that ain't a light. He said, that's a mud puddle with the sun reflecting off of it. <laughs> and I said, well, all I see was a little light. You know, he said, your eyes are better, son. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. There's there no go. telling what you're going to kill now. Oh, you no. got the yeah. twinkle yeah. in your yeah. eyes be, back. Oh, no. Yeah. deadly. And the only thing I got to do is I get, got to get me some reading glasses because everything up close, nope. Oh. No. See? Because the doctor asked me, he said, how, well, you do this two ways. You want to see up close good? Or far away, good. Not said far away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Then if I have to, I'll, you know. I'll just tell him to bust half of it in the other one. <laughs> no, that way it'll yeah. be, you can see yeah, far yeah. and close. Yeah, tell no. him to put the other one in the other eye. Yeah. yeah. That no, way, I, if you need to read something, you just close your eye. No. There you then go. you can read it. No. One for no. far and one for <laughs> no. close. No, no. I'll just get the reading glasses for the up close. Uh, well, you'll be deadly now. Oh, I mean, no. You're I cheap. have to do that. I said, well, okay. I, if Once I get my eyes fixed. Then I guess I might have to go to the hearing doctor and get me some. They say they got good ones now because most of your uh, things you put in your ears, all they are is amplifiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear everything too yeah. much. Well, no, no, because that's why I've, I've had a couple of sets of them in the military. I couldn't wear them. Because you got enough voices going on in your head oh, anyway, no, no, don't no, you? No, 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 because look, I went into, the, I went into the, the bathroom to brush my teeth when I woke up. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> turn the water on. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I didn't know where that was going. No, no. I said, I'm just glad you could yeah. see when you did. No, no. I look and I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, after that and then all the noises that you hear when you got really good hearing. Oh, I didn't miss none of that. That's so too I much. said, hey, no, I ain't yeah. put these stupid things in. I don't want to hear that. I said, I don't even want to hear that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to not hearing all that. Oh no, I'm noise. serious. All the garbage your yeah. ears are are put through. I expect that when you're in a city in a in a hotel, yeah, you know, all this traffic and all the idiots, bah, 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 we're horns and stuff. Hey, I don't need to hear all that garbage. That man act like he awake more than twenty minutes after he gets <laughs> no. to a hotel. I've been on enough trips for you to know that you ain't as soon as you get in a hotel room. Yeah, he can't let hear let anything. Check that bed. <laughs> he can't hear nothing and when you knock oh. on his door. Yeah. That's all it is. Like size time to eat. Okay. They come down by that. Oh. Are you no. going to wear? Are you going to get hearing aids? Or are you going to Well, wear no, no. I'm going to get them out and then I'm going to tell the doctor. I said, hey, you need to work with me, okay, and set these things where they're normal. Yeah, just don't be like Phil's when he got them. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing things that I ain't heard oh, you, no. that you could only dream about. The only thing he couldn't hear <coughs> was the high pitch <laughs> Coming well, no. out of him. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. Because no. I was sitting right beside him, like, yeah. You, you don't hear that. And he's like, See, no, what are you talking yeah, about? I've got my wife does it all the time. Because if the if the door on the refrigerator stays open, it's got a little high frequency. And she yelled, "Shut the stupid door!" And I said, "What are you talking about?" Can't hear. She it. said, "You left the refrigerator door open. Go close it." Boy, seventy four ain't yeah. what it used yeah. to be, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you no, falling no, apart. Hey, so. Oh no, because her, she can hear, hear a mice walk on, on, <laughs> you know, on snow. <laughs> you know, I'm hear a mouse part. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she just, y'all, she's always telling me, "Hey, you left the stupid refrigerator door open again. Close it." Mm. Don't they make hearing aids like those hunting hearing aids where they don't? Uh, well, they that, cancel that, but out that's an amplifier. Background. All it is, is that it amplifies every sound. Sai gonna be a brand new man. Don't got things yeah. putting his lungs, getting his eyes oh, no. fixed. Gonna be able to hear. What well, you, hey, you going through an end life crisis? Mid life? Oh no no no! <laughs> if you mid life, it's not man, a you got a long way to go. <laughs> 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 Golly, you getting everything? Next thing, you got a new truck. Is, is it jacked yeah, up? Hey. Is your truck jacked up? No, it's uh, stopped. No, no, I, but I do have the step ladder that comes out. Well, that's just yeah, good. Old. My wife. Yeah. That was from, that was for my wife. She said, "Hey, if you getting a new one." Make sure it's got the la the thing that comes out that I can step up on to get in. Well, there you got to do something to get them pretty women up in your truck. Well, that's true. That's, you that's know? it. That's it. Hey, that's why I told her the other day she was, had went to Brookshire to get some groceries or something. She was out there when we pulled up, and I said, hey, you good-looking redhead. Get in the car. I think I'm going to take you home with me. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have asked, did she? <laughs> yeah, she did, too. <laughs> Well, you'll have everything fixed now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Eyes, yeah, no. your ears. Eyes, ears. You ready for another 74? Hey, that's it, boy. Hey. Ain't nothing wrong with your plumbing. That's it. It's hey. a modern hundred miracle my, of medical hundred, science. Hundred, yeah. I'll make that 100. All that tea. I know. Yeah. Right? I'll make that 100 mark yet, boys. Hey, I'm with there you. I hope I'm here for it. That's all I'm saying. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. And... It's kind of weird. Johnny D's not here, but I did have him forward me some emails. So if you got anything you want to tell us, comments, questions, concerns, send us an email. Hello at duckcallroom.com is the email address. But I'm just going to read them because he forwarded them and I'm going to trust that he did a good job going through them. So um, let's see. Goblin, this one, this one pertains to you. All right. This is on. this is from our buddy Garrett, and he's from Kansas City, and he just wanted to let you know when we were talking about an air fryer. Remember when we were talking about that? Oh yeah, a couple episodes ago. Yeah, yeah he yeah. said this is for Goblin. All right, an air fryer is the best way to reheat fish. Hmm. He just wanted you to know that. He said because it keeps it crispy. He says, so if you got fried fish, but I mean, you know, we probably ain't eating fried fish no more. There's never any left over. And there's probably not much <laughs> oh, left. Yeah. Oh, he, he eats I, fried fish. Does he? Yeah. Oh, you can? 
Oh, you do it in like almond flour or something? No. Oh. Oh, never mind. No. That's, that's your cheat meal? <laughs> he, just, he just doesn't eat the french fries. There you go. Yeah. That's right. your cheat meal. I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, I'm not getting off that. <laughs> Life's too short. Or ain't fried it? duck. He's... Or fried back <laughs> no. strap. Or fried. Okay. Yeah. Do you eat the salve with it still? Yeah. Yeah. You'll only go so far on this. So far. Hey, yeah. there you go. He I, said, I, I can I, weed out dessert. I, 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 I ain't I'm weeding out. I'm with I, you on that. My hypocrisy just goes so far. So anyway, if you accidentally cook too much, use that air fryer to heat yeah. up your fried crappies. Okay. Hey. How about that? Well, that's one of the yeah. only ones I've heard about a good an air fryer. Y'all, I'm not. Oh, we use it all the time. Oh, 100%. We, me and Brittany use it a lot. It makes, for me, my favorite thing, and this is going to sound stupid, is like toasting a sandwich. It makes the best hot sandwich. Like, you can put a little butter on that bread, throw it in that thing for about about six minutes man flip it at three it's good it's it's, it's certifiably good but and it's great for reheating pizza which i know that's not yeah. we can't and i know that but if he goes out of town for a week again and you want johnny's pizza and you want to oh, eat it a couple of days <laughs> yeah i'm just saying yeah, okay i'll come over y'all can show me i would love to because that means i got to eat pizza too so you just come on over miss paula everything will be good Let's see. Here's one. Okay. This is from Mackenzie. She is from Pollock, Louisiana, which is right down the road. Ain't too far. Um, she says, I currently work at a job that was amazing at first. I've been there almost two years. Everyone was so great at first. Now, not so much. My coworkers I directly work with are, I don't mean rude. I'm not trying, or in quotes, I'm not trying to be rude. They're lazy. I'm always picking up after them and doing their job. One of them being the boss's daughter. Plus, I don't get paid nearly enough for what I do. I'm doing other people's jobs, plus mine all the time. I also work on the weekends, so I never get to spend time with my family. I graduate college in May with a general studies degree with a concentration in organizational studies with business. I'm torn on whether to look for jobs now or wait till I graduate because I'm not sure whether people will take me seriously without a college degree. I'm just over it all. I love your podcast, and thank you all for what you all do. What can you give me any advice in this? Hmm. My advice is finish your education before you you do that because uh, your degree will open doors that you can't won't be open to you without it. There you go. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna struggle with it no matter where you go. Yeah. So you have to just you have to say as for me and myself, I'm going to do my job do it to the best of my ability and not look at anybody else. You have to just do your job. Like, Cause, not, cause like nowadays, to. yeah, to go even further, because nowadays <clears throat> the biggest problem employers have is finding people that are willing to work. That's right. If you if you can pass a drug test and you're dependable and you show up to work every day, yep. you're 75% ahead of the population. Yep. You're valuable. Yep. Yeah. Because you just cause you can't that's, worry that's, about that's what everybody thing. else is doing. You just got to do your job. You ain't gonna change them. Just do it. Just, just do, do your what, job. Pick up after them if that's what makes you feel good, and just keep going. Don't look for no accolades. Just just stay the course. Yeah, I agree. As a manager of a company, we notice when other people are doing more. That is if your leader is in tune with a company. Yep. That could be a completely different issue that I can't speak to. But I know when people around here are doing more than what is necessarily, quote unquote, required of them. Uh, I will also caution you from one part of that email where you said that is not my job as a leader. That is one line that I cannot tolerate is that is not my job. We are a team. Sometimes I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to pick up stuff that you may have been doing. I don't like, I hate that phrase when people yeah, use it. Yeah. I cannot, yeah. I, I can't tell you how bad it irks me on that that is not my job. But that's also why I think I've probably survived, what, 12, 13 years in a family business. Goblin has survived 24 years in a family business when you're not family members because we don't look at anything as saying that's not my job. Mm -hmm. um, it's We're a team. 
whatever needs to be done to pick up said team, we do. Uh, and if after so long you're that you don't feel like that's being noticed or going underappreciated, well, maybe that's not the team for you. So, yeah. um, but continue to work hard. People will notice it. They already are noticing. I'll it. Fix I promise that. you that. Yeah. And uh, John said a good point there. Okay, when you're saying that nobody knows, okay, that's not true. If if the boss is a good boss, trust me when I tell you this. He notices it. And, yeah. okay. and two, you're working. You're working for your family. You're mm-hmm. working like you went to work mm. all these years, your whole life, and doing what you did not to get accolades, yeah. but to provide for your family. You're, well, I, I think the Bible says it be- best of all. You're not working for Him. You're working for the Lord. Work as if you're working for the Lord. That's right. You're working for Him. Yeah. It's yeah. just hard. To, it is hard. Sometimes we lose focus. Every one of us yeah. do. You know, you get caught up in all the wrong things and you lose focus. It's easy to do. Well, yeah. Stay the course. And, and that even outside your job, it's easy to get your priorities out of whack mm-hmm. and put your job before your family or put That's your, right. you know, put, put your family before God. I mean, like there's just a, it's easy to get those out of order. And once you get those out of order, you start focusing on self, which is a, bad yeah. thing and yeah, then you know are, there's yeah. just a it's a there's which is why it's so good to like for us our co-workers here we're surrounded by challenge you on those kinds of things like they'll pull you to the side and say hey you're being an idiot like you know make sure you keep the first things first so um yeah just i would say stay the course finish your degree there ain't no reason to bail now um mm-hmm. you and in a world today too where you do have a job don't take the opportunity of having a job for granted i mean that is a there there's a lot of us being replaced by machines now so like you have one take take full advantage of it and then once you graduate figure out what's next for you um and pray about it and pray about it turn it over to the good lord you know that kind of deal god when you got a you got a bible verse in the side of here on you got one that's on your mind or you want me to go with it i'll go with it i ain't thought of one all right (laughs) Well, I mean, I ain't, what's the one I about, ain't been studying nothing. What's the one about don't gone. think more highly of yourself than you ought to? Uh, yeah. A man right. should not think. There you go. Uh, I got to search. I don't know which. Uh, I don't know by heart. But more highly of himself. Yeah. Yep. Let me just search that. Uh, All the one. I, the others before work, yourself. Yeah. Or yeah. work with your hands. So you yep. will not be dependent on anyone. Anybody. Yeah. Yep. yep. That when the time comes, okay, if you work with your hands and, and keep your nose to your business and not stuck in someone else's business, so there when the go. time comes that you can help someone else out. That's right. Yeah, there you go. That's Let's good. do that one because I was able yep. to find that one quicker. Yep. Um all right, and it is First Thessalonians 4 and 11. It says, And to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, you should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on, on anybody. Anyone. There right. you go. There you go. And that's so, a good one. That's that's a good is one. a good one. Look, yeah. folks. Thank y'all for joining us. Happy New Year. Paula, thank you for coming back in with yep. us. Thanks yeah. for having You're me. You're always welcome in here. Whenever hey, anytime you want to come. But hey, y'all, y'all go y'all go meet each other for the first time. <laughs> so, in a week. Week. You know, what I mean, I, I know it's been a while. So. <laughs> Thirty four years of wedded bliss. Love it. Thank oh, y'all. Huh? Let me ask you one question before we go. Okay. Uh, What's the secrets to thirty four years of happy marriage? <clears throat> laughter. Love and laughter. I mean, you gotta laugh at yourself. Have a good time. I'm serious. Like, that took me a long time to figure that out. You've got to laugh at yourself and, and have a good time. Relax a little, yeah. you're saying. Enjoy it. Yeah. Well, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let her kill and the then. biggest deer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a plus. <laughs> hey, or, her, or at least her market. Right. Yeah. Treat her right, boys. Uh, that's the that's a plus right I there. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. <laughs>